What is going on, guys? It's Monday morning, so um, I bet you thought Jimmy Drive was going to be closed by the time this video rolled around, uh, but no, it's not. Matter of fact, the buyer, my buyer, called me again yesterday and wanted to cancel the offer again. Anyways, we're supposed to close at 10.30 this morning. I don't really give a shit if he shows up or not, quite frankly. Pretty sure he's not going to show up. It is what it is. I don't know. He was like, well, what happens if I do cancel? I said, hell, man, I don't know. Like, people don't normally do this stupid-ass shit. Anyways, so, yeah, that's how my weekend went. Oh, also, uh, Super Bowl was last night. Kansas City Chiefs won. I don't really give a shit because I don't watch football that much. I did watch a little bit of the game. I was disappointed in the halftime show. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was my take on it. I liked last year's. I did like last year's. So in this week's video, man, <laughs> I'm going to do my best to get this uh, Jimmy Drive clothes. Uh, my, my clothes on it and relist it. Who knows? Everything's up for grabs right now. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Jeff Slick, and this is Slick Sales. Let's get to the video. Here on here, yeah, this, they got the power turned on here, so I gotta turn the breakers on. What the hell? some updating but this one is on here high <sighs> still don't know if my guy's gonna show up having not have not heard from him um we are two hours from closing okay <laughs> we just have to see all right so we got the uh the power's all on the heat's on, that's a good thing, so the heat's working. It's pretty cold in there right now, at least it won't be cold next time. Next time we come over here, so uh, he's getting a few more pictures, and then uh, we're going to go back to the office. It's 8.45 now, closes at 10.30. I texted him this morning, I haven't heard back, so that's usually a good sign, so we'll just have to see, see what happens. It's all a toss-up until 10.30 gets here, so... Well, well, all right. So it's uh, 2.15, done a few things. I'm sure y'all are all wondering whether he showed up or not, if the house closed. And the simple answer is no. He did not show up. He called me, tried to give me a whole bunch of excuses. Listen, I, I feel bad for the man, I do. Like, whatever issues you're having, I, I get all that. But you could have backed out several different times. One after the inspection, you chose not to. Last weekend, you called me on Saturday morning and said you wanted to back out. I canceled the offer then. You called me back on Monday morning and was like, oh, I want to change my, I want to change my mind again. So we canceled the, canceled the cancellation. <laughs> Anyways, you had plenty of opportunities to do this and you decided to wait till an hour before closing. We were supposed to close at 10.30 this morning and you waited until this morning to call me and tell me that you weren't gonna be there because you just couldn't do it. Now, what's gonna happen, you ask? Oh, probably nothing. Probably nothing, which is bullshit, if you ask me. I really think he should at least lose his earnest money. <laughs> I think that's the least that they should do. None of it benefits me. I don't get none of this money. I don't, I don't get none of it. But whatever. Good news is, though, I'm going to show the house again, so I'm going to sell that son of a bitch again. How about that? All right, so just left the show in there. They're going to put an offer in, so <laughs> who knows? Could work out it. Could work out in the end. I don't know. Uh, also, wants me to list their house for them. I have to sell their house, so it's, they don't have any contingencies. So that's a good thing. Making a good offer. I got a good feeling about this one. I didn't have a good feeling about the other one. I got a good feeling about this one, so... Uh, fingers crossed, everything happens for a reason, so 
Maybe the reason was he ain't supposed to get that house. What's happening, guys? I didn't do, well, I did do a little bit of recording yesterday. I was at uh, a house I've been remodeling, flooded the laundry room, it was a mess on my TikTok. It's also on the shorts, you said on the shorts. Anyway, my client on the house, house in Ashland, the inspection came back, there was some real problems with the HVAC, so uh, we worked that out. I got, got an addendum, I actually filled it out yesterday, but I, I had a long day yesterday, so. Now I'm going to the office. I'm gonna put that in dot loop and get it all sent over and signed or signed and then sent over to the listing agent. Everything's been agreed upon. Not that big a deal. As y'all know, my other client on Jimmy Drive backed out one hour before closing. He called me at 9:30. We were set to close at 10:30. He called me at 9:30. Said he wasn't coming. They did keep his earnest money. Fair. That's what it's for. After that happened, I showed the house that afternoon and I put the offer in. I was able to put the offer in yesterday. Uh, it was like 4.30 when I could put the offer in. That was as soon as I could put it in. So, got it in. Hopefully they accept it. It's actually better than the other offer. So, we we'll just have to see. Somebody else puts in an offer and it'll go uh, to highest and best, obviously. But right now, I have an offer in, and uh, fingers crossed. So, over here at Stillwater, um, it's doing a bi weekly. I'm getting the house right now. Basically, just making sure the house is okay. Uh, going around the back here. Just normal. Bi weekly inspection here. Yeah. I need a new fence, I think. At least some bracing. I don't know why they don't clean all this crap up. Or that. Whatever. That. Oh, well. Oh, well. Their thing said, this is what it says for me to get this discount. The box was, all this is true. Breaker box has been changed, switches have been changed, fixtures have been changed, but the wiring throughout the entire structure has not. not so I can't it. say that I not did all that. It, so. But we did, re we did rewire. Yeah, that's what I just told her. Okay. So, but this form that she wants me to sign says all of it's been changed. Well, I ain't signing that, so it ain't. Mm -hmm. No, we still got to <laughs> change, change your entrance wire and change breaker box outside. Yeah. And that's what I just told her. That didn't mean nothing. I told her the wall didn't have to be torn down. It's got wire inside there. We didn't change that because there's no point in changing it. Okay. Those have new switches, new breakers, and new box. And they'll have a 200 amp service when I'm through, but, I, but I'm telling her I'm good. Mm -hmm. um, Where's that? Which one's that? His house. Oh. So, yeah, I just let her know you're doing it. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I'm supposed to go do this, but I. I got all the, I got to send this over to Alicia, my buyer, my retail and all that. Yeah. That's, That's my closing. Yeah, I know, I know. I ain't fitted us yet. Uh, I scanned in the, um, for 25 North Street for Tingblad and Crumley, I think it is. So it's in there. Uh, oh, I've sent that. Can I get it in here? Yeah, you can go ahead and send it and I'll message her and tell her. And then when I when I get them to sign this night, I'm gonna, uh, when she gets off, I think she got off at four. So I'm gonna try, try to set up a time to go look at, what's today, Wednesday? So maybe Saturday or something, I'm gonna go look at her house. I'm gonna try to get it listed. Mike and them, but, but that Saks Road might, might work. Uh, but I know bacon should be done. He said a week and a half, I, I think that's a little, um, 
quick. But maybe, I mean, yeah. they could get it done that fast. There's not that much left to do. All right, so at the bank here, so the house on Jimmy Drive, they did accept that offer that I put in the other day. So gotta get some paperwork signed and we'll be back under contract. Literally like three hours after after my other guy backed out, I had another client that wanted, wanted to make an offer on it. So got that one done. I got the addendum for my house on Ashland. It, it is done, it's sent to the listing agent. So they should get it signed and sent back probably tomorrow, maybe later this evening. 25 North Street, man, that one's been held up for a while. Sent over an extension just a little bit ago. They gotta get a survey on it. Hopefully we'll close on that one soon. My buddy from California, Mike, we had a house under contract, they had to back out. Anyways, they're ready to do it now. Some things happen, so they're ready to move forward. The house is under contract, but I don't think they're gonna be able to get the funds worked out by, it actually, the contract expires on Monday the 20th. I won't know about it probably till tomorrow or the next day, but I will uh, let y'all know as soon as I find out. Yeah, been a busy couple days. All right, long day, man. Working on a bunch of bullshit all day. Well, not really bullshit. So again, uh, I got I got the house in Ashland that's taken care of. I haven't got it back from the listing agent, but I should have it later today. 1108 Jimmy Drive is, they haven't signed their parts yet, but the, the VA has accepted the offer of my buyer and uh, it should be should be signed tonight, hopefully. Also, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna, they don't have to sell their house, their current house, but they are going to sell their current house, so I'll probably be listing it. Bacon Avenue, they bought the house next door. They're gonna start working on that, but 1528 should be done, hopefully in the next two weeks. I'll be listing it for sale again. They did just call me, the same people that have Bacon Avenue, they just called me about a set of apartments here in town. So, um, and also I'm working on that Saks Road property, the one that had a little bit of birds, three properties and one, one lot. <laughs> it's been a busy day. Tomorrow morning, the lockout that they put off from last week, it is scheduled for 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's an eviction, so police and the inmates will be there obviously uh just like in some of the other videos if you haven't seen them go check the eviction videos i do out I'm here in calhoun county where i'm from they send out obviously a sheriff because it's a lawful order that has to be executed they bring uh trustees some people like to call them inmates they're, they're trustees and they come out and help move everything out and all that i'm pretty sure that the place we're going tomorrow will not be occupied they are well aware that we're coming. They've also said that they've already got everything out that they wanted out. Based on my experience, that means they're not gonna be there and it's gonna be full of junk and trash. Probably more than likely what's gonna happen is we'll show up in the morning, there will be nobody there. Uh, the sheriff will go in and do his thing inside, make sure that no one's there. Uh, we'll change the locks. VA has a company that's gonna come out and, and they handle all the uh, removal of all the all the debris and whatever's in there actually we haven't been in there i don't know what's in there i don't know what kind of shape the house is in so we're gonna find all that out in the morning what's up it's thursday morning my client on jimmy drive they signed well she signed some things last night he still has to sign they haven't sent the contracts yet but they should probably do that this morning also this morning it's like 6 50 right now uh, at 9 a.m we have a lockout got to be over there i don't we don't have to do anything they have people that do that but we have to be there to take pictures so i'll be there they need to drop the price on smith lane because i'm not getting any kind of activity at all on it so that's a little odd also the sax road thing i might know something today uh they're trying to come up with the cash they got to get the cash that i don't think a finance thing it's three houses on the same property same lot so nobody wants to finance it oh so uh update on today so uh, they canceled the thing again it's not even raining i'm not really sure why I put it off till next thursday 
I'm going to get some stuff done in the office. I've already sent a few documents out and got that stuff going. I'm checking on some marketing stuff I'm going to do today. Because we're looking for agents. You know what I mean? We're looking for agents uh, pretty seriously. We're going to be opening some more offices. I'm actually looking for people that want to be brokers. I'm going to be opening some more offices. So, uh, you know, if you're an agent in Alabama, holler at me. Headed to Piedmont. On the way to Piedmont, though, I do got to go. I got a task to do on this one over here. They give me the same task every week. Whatever. I'm gonna go by here and get pictures real quick because I'm passing it. Right, and then I'm gonna go back to the house. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for that Homestap Pro. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, uh, but it's $39.99 a month, so uh, probably can't hurt nothing. So, yep, this one is, I'm sure y'all recognize this one. Still in limbo, they some uh, issues, or not issues, but some problems with the tile of work. So uh, they're trying to get all that worked out, but it won't be long, maybe next week's video. I'm sorry we didn't get to do the trash out this week. They keep canceling it, but again, that will be in next week's video. So make sure you tune in next week so you can see what happens. Um, Jimmy Drive, canceled, back under contract, you know. Uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out, but... I'm hopeful. I got, like I said before, I got a good feeling about this one. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Jeff Slick. This is Slick Sales, and we'll see y'all next week.